guys, I'm back for another video. Y'all might be wondering, why does the lighting look so good all of a sudden? The reason why is because we're outside for once. I decided to switch the scenery. I wanted to, you know, switch it up a bit to keep you guys on your toes, you know? Good bands, good bands. But anyway, I was sitting around and I was like, I actually haven't done a video on how I got accepted to some of the universities that I got accepted to. The main one, the one that I'm actually going to in August, is Parsons, the new school of design. It's in New York. So I wanted to show you guys like my portfolio and how and what I wrote for each piece and why I chose them and this, this, that, that. But yeah, but I also did get accepted to other universities such as um, there were other two in the UK and I also got accepted into Polymoda, which is in Italy. So I'll be talking about my portfolio for those universities and how I got accepted to them. So for each university, what I did was basically write like one thing describing a piece and then I'd use the same piece in the portfolios that met, that like needed it, you know? So say I did like a pastel drawing, I'd use the same explanation for another university for like all the universities um, portfolio applications so that it would be easier on me. Bear in mind this time I was writing exams and these universities needed me to apply to them like quick quick like they were not playing around I needed to do those portfolios. I think the Parsons one was due like in the middle of my exam. Let me just get started for the video. So I'm going to be using my Parsons portfolio application as a reference as to what I wrote for each portfolio. You guys get it. I don't know explain again. But yeah. <laughs> So the first piece is called The Succession, it's a photography piece, it's a series of photography pieces, that's what it is. So in this piece, what I had done was I went into my room, I have this white wall that isn't covered with anything, I used that wall and I had tied my hair back, luckily I had my natural hair then, so I was able to tie my hair back and it kind of looks like I'm bald, but uh, <laughs> so I tied my hair back. And I used honey to like I put I poured honey all over myself to give that like wet look effect, you know, stickiness, stuff like that. So for this piece, I said this series symbolizes deconstructing one's social appearance and personality as it starts to slip out. Hence the honey that is spilling out of the mouth and dripping out of the skin. I wanted to show how one's personality that is shown in the public may be socially desirable and admired but at some point in time it starts to break down and slip out so the breakdown and slipping out part is the honey that's pouring out you know like pouring out of my mouth pouring out of my skin stuff like that i really like this piece it was a fun one but i had to take a shower afterwards and it was quite gross to clean up but so be careful when you work with honey base this one is called The Veiling. It's also a photography piece. With this one, I had made a veil out of um, a wire hanger. So I made the wire hanger into a circle and then I used thread, so cotton, like a thread, sewing thread, to make like those sun goddess hats, sun goddess head pieces that you see celebrities wearing. I'll insert some here. But that's what I did. So I'd sew it into the middle and like make sure it connected so it like had a piece like going out. There was just many threads going like attaching around the hanger. And then after that, I sewed some I, I sewed some white tool onto the hat. So like on top of the wire hanger which had the thread on, so it was easier to hang on. And yeah, I just made it look more abstract. It didn't really have like a shape that it took. It was just an abstract veil hat type thing so for this one i said i made this veil to express a new take on wedding wear i wanted to express a different way in which wedding veils could be in the future as fashion is ever changing and if clothing styles can evolve why can't wedding veils do the same this one is called inside the mask it's a photography piece the model for this is kaya shout out to kaya because i know he'll be mad at me if i don't shout him out so he modeled for this. In this piece, I did Kai's makeup. I did some orange eyeshadow here. I made him wear these pants that I'd worn to my sixth form dance. They had like um, see-through sides on the pant of the pants and they were like loose. I also made him wear this golden nightgown that I had. And yeah, 
that's pretty much what I did. So for this one I said, I made this to explore the ideas of the feminine side uh, that males tend to keep within themselves. I wanted to display this feminine side and to create an atmosphere of vulnerability as the model expresses his feminine side, which he has to keep to himself and as a personal trait that no one has witnessed. It's deep. It's deep. I can't believe I wrote half this stuff. But I think for most applications, they just want you to go into depth about the meaning and maybe talk about the composition, so the foreground and the background and why you chose these colors and stuff like that. This one is called My Sister the Bride. It is actually my sister on her wedding day. The, the title has some literal meaning to the piece. So the wedding took place on like this boat house thing. It's not really a boat house, but you know what I mean? It's on, it's on water, but not at the same time. And we were in the changing room. There were these windows that were on the side of the wall. And so the sun was peeking in through these windows. And she, as she was lifting her veil, the light like hit her like, perfectly like spot on at that moment and I was like stop stop I need to take a photo this could come in handy one day and I took the photo obviously I edited this I did all my photos to add more contrast and you know level the exposure and stuff like that but for this one I just added a lot of contrast and make sure that the whites and the blacks really contrasted in this in here I talk about the composition which is really good because I obviously you can't just keep talking about the meaning of photos and stuff that you make with all the pieces that you put in a portfolio so you have to put in that composition foreground light contrast stuff like that so they know that you know what you're talking about this one is called tied up it's a pastel piece on pastel paper Part of my Cambridge AS level art project. This was my final piece that I did in the exam. And guess what? I got a D for that exam. So if Parsons can accept me, but Cambridge fails me, what, what does that say? What, what does that say, really? Anyway, with this piece, I like to work with a lot of dry mediums. So pastel, charcoal, charcoal pencil, stuff like that. I'm not ooh. oh my gosh I like to work with a lot of dry stuff I'm not a I'm not really a, a painter so for this final project it was like tied up so I also did like ballet feet and stuff like that and yeah it was just like a theme of constricting the female body and like why women will disfigure their bodies to for beauty standards and stuff like that i don't really care about that stuff you do you if you're being safe but i just needed that for my art piece because i thought it was like a deep a deep meaning you know this one is called underneath it's also pastel pencils on pastel paper this one i had taken both my feet and I wrapped one up in sellotape so that it would get those like contrast of color so those yellows and reds that you get when something is wrapped around too tightly around like your body part or something like that and then I had used the ballet shoe from the other foot to show like what's underneath the ballet shoe technically it's showing the disfigurement of the one foot and the beauty of the other foot with the ballet shoe so for this one i had said in this artwork i wanted to show the painful side of ballet as ballet dancers feet tend to become scarred and bruised that one is so short i know i probably should have written way more than i did but anyway this is called the fitting it's charcoal pencils on charcoal paper this one also linked to the theme of tied up. So the ballet shoe, the previous one, was also linked to tied up. This one, I just wanted to show like the fat spilling out of the corset and how uncomfortable it looks as well. The next piece is called To The Point. This is pastel pencils and pastel paper. This one, I had went to this ballet studio that like is just down the road from my house and they had allowed me to take pictures of this one ballet dancer. I just used this one's feet and I just wanted to show the beauty of ballet and yeah, just to bring the fragility out of it out. Since you have the ballet feet that I did before and how it looks constricted and stuff like that, I also wanted to show the beauty of ballet at the same time. 
this is called my ancestors constellations this was part of my passage challenge but I'm gonna go into more depth about it at the end because the actual challenge has a long essay so for this one it was collage art and I also used pen and so those ink pens not those normal big pens this was a, a true ink pen I used an ink pen I also used paint as well I wanted to use like wild colors you know bring that Africanness out with the with the figure who is like wrapped in an African print blanket and yeah that's what I wanted to do I just wanted to bring some you know culture into this basically for this piece I said this is my take on a modern version of the medieval paintings that depict holy figures this collage is a representation of my African ancestors as a holy figure among the stars and the planets as a being that watches over me so with this one I made sure to put the circle behind the figure to like make it relate to those medieval paintings that you see I'll, I'll insert some of that. but I wanted to make it look holy and angelic and you know that's how they make it look in those paintings but yeah the next piece is called work couture I actually sewed this piece together I'm very proud of myself I'm glad I did that the model is Nasira thank you Nasira shout out to Nasira my old roommate with this piece I had pinstriped fabric and I was like, you know what would look cool? If I did some, you know, some work themed outfit. But at the same time, I also wanted to add that pizzazz. So that's where the white tool comes in to add the couture part of it. I, I don't even think I drew this out. I think I did the sketch after I made the outfit. I do that a lot. I know it's really bad, but when, I, when you have that inspiration, you just want to make things and you don't really want to plan it out. And my passage challenge is linked to my ancestors' constellations, so that's what it was inspired from. The model is Dawn Kakiroko, who's actually becoming a real model now. All of y'all check her out. So for this piece, your passage challenge has to be inspired by a piece from like within your portfolio. It, obviously on the website, well, like it explains what the passage challenge is and how you can do it and stuff like that. But I basically made the dress linked to my ancestors constellations so i had also sewn this dress this is what i had written for the essay my personal challenge is based off the collage art i did for my ancestors constellation the way i went about completing the passage challenge was creating an artwork that tied together my past history that my ancestors constellation portrays and the present time of my own future in this artwork i wanted to explore the connection that i have with those that came before me Seeing as I will never be able to meet them in person, I wanted to interpret the feelings and emotion I have for the elders that I have been told about. Besides the blood connection, besides the blood connection with my elders that I share, I have a strong connection with the stars and the planets. When I face a crisis in my life, I gaze at the moon and the stars as it has a strong calming effect on me. It has been said that when someone dies, they become a star in our vast galaxy. And I feel as if it is my ancestors watching over me, giving me the guidance that I need in the moment. My ancestors' constellation is, is my ancestors' constellation is the my ancestors my ancestors' constellation is a representation of the past of my African ancestors that currently watch over me in the form of constellations. Hence, the planets in the background and the blue planet surrounding the figure's head to represent a holy figure, as medieval artworks represent their holy figures. In the dress that I created, I wanted to show the contrast and a connection between the two works. The dress has a similar fabric pattern to the one in the collage art, representing the connection in the African heritage. This continues. The continuous use of black within the collage are shown. Oh my gosh. The continuous use. I also wanted to create contrast in what the figure and the model is wearing to show the difference between traditional wear and modern clothing as the figure is wearing loose fabric that hides their identity, which represents the unknown ancestor. The model wears a tight sleeveless dress that reveals her identity. This was to show the contrast between what was worn back then and what is worn now, but it is still similar in the fact that they are both considered a form of traditional wear. So that was my Parsons portfolio, along with some 
<coughs> portfolio pieces that I had included with my other portfolio applications to the other universities. Other than this, I also did like behind the scenes stuff, so sketches and uh, brainstorming and stuff like that with the other portfolios because some of them may ask you to show how you come to an idea and stuff like that. So that's what I did with the other ones. With the Parsons portfolio, it might be a good idea to put other work that you have used to come to an idea. You should be confident in your work because you made it, you know if it's good or not. Obviously make sure if it's in the right order. So what I had done, I had put my strong pieces first and then I would also put them last and I usually put like the weaker pieces in the middle but I made sure to like put weak, strong, weak, you know, type of thing. So yeah, you want to make sure it's it looks strong throughout basically with my acceptance to Parsons I'd also gotten a scholarship as well it's not a full scholarship but it's a part scholarship and I'll be going to America in August August the 3rd I have booked my ticket but I'll be making a whole moving vlog for you guys because I'm pretty sure there are no vlogs out there where a South African person goes to New York for school and stuff like that so I'm excited to show you guys what I do at school and the friends that I make. I'm excited to meet my roommates in person. I'm excited to meet my housemates in person. We're gonna have so much fun. I can't wait to take you guys on this journey with me. And it's just gonna be amazing. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm actually majoring in fashion design. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing a BFA in fashion design. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was pretty exciting to make. It was pretty nostalgic to look back at the pieces that I made for this application and I hope you guys enjoyed it. You should leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next week. Peace!